Hello, my name is Tyson Lidget, and today I'm going to tell you about Mobile Eye Paranormal. Mobile Eye Paranormal is a paranormal investigation group that I created in August of 2012. I created it for those who are experiencing activity in their homes or businesses, and they want answers for things they can't explain. I ask them, you know, what are you experiencing? And they say, you know, well, I'm experiencing footsteps, you know, upstairs when nobody's upstairs or disembodied voices, people are talking, nobody's around. Folks have things happen in their house or someone may have passed away. And it's just simply someone saying, I used to live here. I meant something to someone a long time ago. Please don't forget about me. Halloween night of 2000. 13, I had asked the owners of the Phillips Hotel if I could do a investigation there. As we investigated, we had heard a door slam. Well, we converged to the part of the sixth floor, which would have been the nurse's station. Now, historically, the sixth floor was the floor where the critically ill or hospice floor was. We go into the nurse's station and there's a small door in the back of the nurse's station. My one investigator goes to go back in that door and the door slams in her face. Did it close in front of you? Yeah. She went to push it open with her foot and it shut the whole way. Look, it just opened. I go and I stand in the archway outside of the door and I said, if you're in there, open the door. If that's you, open the door. Oh my God. Are you getting this? And I said, okay, I now close it. it. Now close it. And the door finally slammed shut. Oh my God. He simply stepped outside the nurse's station for about 10 seconds. We come back in and the door is wide open. The physical manipulation of objects is up there with, you know, the sighting of an apparition. Uh, recording an apparition is kind of like the holy grail for uh, paranormal investigators. We do have a partial apparition caught on camera during one of our investigations of a local pub in Milesburg. And as two of my investigators are sitting at one end of the table, I'm sitting at the opposite end. What we capture is the ghostly image of a partial arm reaching in between my two investigators and grabbing something off the table. Uh, what you see on TV is so different from what we do because well, that night we had spent six hours in that pub investigating and experienced nothing and then went back and checked our audio in our video and we found that just because nothing happens around that being seen or being heard doesn't mean nothing is happening. The main driving force I would say to why I'm doing this is my faith. Uh, I'm a Christian. Uh, I believe the, the Bible was gospel. I believe that, you know, what it says happens to you after death happens to you after death. You know, you go where you're supposed to go once you close your eyes for the last time. So my question is, why do we experience wow. these things? What was that? You know, I, I, I call myself um, a believer with a healthy dose of skepticism because I've experienced too much to say that uh, paranormal doesn't exist. But yet, too many things in our natural world have a logical reason, and the human eye and the human mind can be fooled too easily. People call us. They're looking for help. I'm helping them as much as I'm helping myself. The fact that, you know, maybe one of these days I'll have my questions answered. Maybe one one investigation away of figuring out why I'm doing this and saying, you know what, I don't need to do this anymore.